Hey YouTube, I'm out here with the Surefire M340 DFT and the Rain 3.0 Micro Dual Fuel. In the Rain 3.0, I've got a CR123 battery, and in my Surefire M340, I have an 18350. It's a Vapcell A11, fully charged. And part of what we're going to discover today is you know, how, do, how does the dual fuel actually compare to, uh, say, the full power offerings? And some people, we use their lights in a flash shoot move, flash move shoot, whatever. Uh, and other people will turn the light on, solve the problem, and then turn the light off, uh, resulting in a lot more continuous runtime. So I want to kind of demonstrate to you the difference between how that affects these lights. We've turned them both on at one minute exactly. This is our Surefire, and this is our Rain. Uh, the Rain is on CR123, and the Surefire is on the 18350. And Rain is on the right, Surefire on the left. One thing that uh, I've been kind of pondering is, are these are these lights really um, are they really 18350 lights or are they just um, overdriven CR123 lights? And that could go for the 18650 stuff as well. And what I mean by that is you're going to see here in a few minutes, uh, usually about a minute and a half to be exact, uh, tapering into about the three minute mark these lights kind of reach their thermal capacity and they can only shed so much heat they're putting out a lot of light and they start to reduce output drastically the surefire actually does a lot better than the rain because it's pushing a lot less lumens downrange. i just swapped them surefire over here now and in cr123 mode the output this is the rain the output is able to balance with the heat a lot better than when using the 18350. So I guess my question is, uh, you know, where's our point of diminishing returns on can we pull this much current, can we push this many lumens versus what can our light actually sustain? You see here we're at the two minute mark. Our surefire is on the right, our rain's on the left. That's the rain. That's the surefire, rain, surefire. They're looking very similar at this point. And we're just two minutes in on runtime. So if you're a light on, solve the problem, light off kind of person, um, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how you view this. Uh, the results of this. Now that's certainly not to denigrate the higher powered lights or to say that they don't serve or have a purpose or anything like that. I just wanted to look at this from a slightly different angle. Our rain is on the right side now. Surefire is over here on the left. Some people may actually consider running these lights with just the CR123. The output's very sufficient. It's a little less candela for indoors, hovering around 45 to 55,000 instead of 100,000, or 95 technically. This is our Surefire with an 18350, 4 minutes, 10 seconds in. And this is our Rain with a CR123. You can see the Rain really hasn't changed in output, but the Surefire has dropped to almost perfectly match the rain. The rain may actually be pushing a little bit uh, a little bit less throw, a little bit more spill, but these beams are very comparable right now. Rain is on the right, Surefire on the left. Surefire, illuminating my deer stand over there under the tree. Rain, same target. Surefire, rain. All right. 
Surefire, rain, surefire, rain, surefire. Oh, we're back up to full power in the surefire here. Turning it off, turning it on did the trick. Let's see how long that holds. You can definitely see that it's putting out more power than the rain now. I have a feeling it just cooled a couple of degrees. I don't believe there's a timer. I believe it's thermally managed, not time-based. But we'll see. Still going strong. That's interesting. Click on, click off, and it looks like it reset things. Surefire, rain. Let's swap them around. We're going to put the 18350 in the rain and the CR123 in the Surefire. All right, rain, surefire. Our rain is on the right, surefire is on the left. Surefire, rain. The rain tends to get warm pretty quick and start to regulate. That happens at about 105 degrees. The Surefire does it at around 99.5, around 100. The rain, by about a minute and a half, has regulated itself down very heavily, typically. <clears throat> producing around 29,000 lux with the 18350 at the minute and a half mark, two minute mark. And you can see it's regulated and throttled down pretty heavily. There's our rain. There's our Surefire with our CR123. Again, the rain has the 18350. Not a lot of difference between the two there. The Surefire has a little better throw, actually, than the Rain with the 18350. Even though the Surefire is running a CR123, it's pushing 55,000 lux. And by my measure, the Rain is at about 29,000 lux, and it's readily apparent here, downrange. Surefire and Rain. That Surefire is illuminating those targets better, even with the CR123 in it. So let's click the rain off and click it back on like we did the Surefire and see what happens. And full power. Cool. Okay. Looks like they're very similar in that regard. Surefire. And there's our rain after we clicked it on again. Notice it start to regulate down a little bit there. Surefire. Rain. Surefire. Rain. Yeah, I found this a very interesting test on these dual fuel lights. And there we go. It's regulated down pretty heavily already. Hope y'all enjoyed that.